Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Mariah. Today's topic is normal and disabled. This video is both research-based and thought-based. In this video, I will be answering two questions. The first question is, what is the definition of a normal person? And the second question, are disabled people normal? I also will share the definition for abnormality. Most of the information I'm presenting is from four different articles. First, the first question, what is the definition of a normal person? No, normality, which is a behavior from Wikipedia, which is the first article I used. Normality is a behavior that can be normal for an individual when it is consistent with the most common behavior for, the, for that person. Normal is also used to describe individual behavior that conforms to the most common behavior in society, known as conformity. However, normal behavior is often only recognized in contrast to abnormality. In the simplest, in its simplest form, normality is seen as good, while abnormality is seen as bad. Um, sorry, I might have skipped over something. I'm so sorry about that. Um, someone being seen as normal or not normal can have social ramifications, such as being included, excluded, and stigma stigmatized by wider society. To me, a normal person is. A person who lives in society, no matter if they have a disability or not, we just have things that make us unique, and that's my definition. Article number two, which it was called, Is There Such a Thing as a Normal Person? And this is from Avalon Malibu. The term normal is perceptual and, and sorry, um, sub, subjective and may means something different depending on the context of a situation. A person may use the word normal when referring to the majority. For example, a person might be considered normal by others if they listen to a certain genre of music that most people in that area listen to. Conver conversely, a person may not be considered normal if they speak in a way that's different from what most people speak in in a certain area. While many use the word normal to categorize someone, something, or an, or an act of behavior, normal does not really exist. Normal um, may be used to define people which can certainly exclude others. Everyone has their own unique set of circumstances, attitudes, values, and beliefs, which may be considered I'm sorry, what may be considered normal or typical for some may be viewed as absurd, absurd to others. When we utilize the term normal, we often set ourselves up for failure and discourage others. Everyone wants to feel included and be part of society. If we use normal as a deciding factor to determine whether someone should be included or not, we neglect the fact that we are all, we all have um, maladi, maladies, I think, or maladies, quirks, unusual, I mean, sorry, unique, characteristic, annoyances, griefs, and more. We neglect the complex nature that comes with being human, the various ideas, perceptions, and differences that make us uh, meaningful in our own way. Article number three, Disab Disability Language Style Guide, which is from the National Center for, on Disability and Journalism. Abnormality, sorry, abnormal slash abnormality, the background. Abnormality, ab, abnormality is a word used to, de, to describe a condition that derives from what is considered normal. It, is, it can be appropriate when used in a medical context, context such as abnormality, um, sorry, abnormal curvature of the spine or abnormal test result. However, it, when used to describe an individual, abnormal is widely viewed as derogatory. The term abnormal behavior reflects social, social cultural st 
standards and is open to different interpretations. Um, the, the NCDJ, which stands for the National Center of Disability and Journalism, rec this is their recommendation. The words abnormal or abnormality are acceptable when, when describing scientific phenomena such as abnormalities in brain activity brain function. However, avoid using these, I mean, using such words to describe a person. Referring to someone who does not have a disability as a normal person implies that people with disabilities are, def def sorry, deviant or strained. Typical can be, can be a better choice. Be cautious when using the term abnormal behavior. Explain what it means in the context in which it is being used. Question number two, are, are disabled people normal? My answer is, I know that disabled people are normal because they are just like everyone else. Um, we just think, process information, and may act differently because of our disabilities. But this, is, but this doesn't make us any less normal than anyone else. My, the last article I used, the fourth article, is called Are, Dis Are People with Disabilities Normal? And this is from Enable Code. It is quite common for people to use the word normal to describe people without disabilities. Uh, you probably do it as well. When you do, however, you are automatically implying that a person with, disabil with a disability is not normal or even abnormal which is not a friendly way to describe someone. But why do people do this? And are, and are people with disabilities really not normal? To start, what does normal even mean? The, Mer the Merriam-Webster Dictionary describes normal as according, according with consulting or not deviating from the norm, rule or, or principle. But what Defi sorry, what decides who sorry, but who decides what the norm is? Is it people with blonde hair and blue eyes, managers with well paying jobs, married couples with married couples with children? Everyone has different interests and different looks. Everyone has different interests, different looks, and different personalities. So what is no is no even the same for everyone then? Certainly, some things might be more common or more usual than others, but but every often, sorry, but very often, what is normal depend depends on your preference. I'm sorry, your preference, your perception, or per yes, percep perception or perceptive. For pe persons with mobility issues, it is not strange to use a cane, a, wh a, a wheelchair, or some other assistive device. S uh, similarly, for people who are have been deaf their entire lives, it is not odd. It was well, It would be odd to suddenly be able to hear when when while able-bodied persons might consider a disability to be abnormal. Anomino oh, sorry. anomalous or abnormal. For, for persons with disabilities, the disability is just a normal part of who they are. As such, being referred to as normal upsets people and, and for good reason. Several weeks ago, for instance, Ian Duncan Smith, the British... So, sorry, the British Secretary of State for Pension for Work and Pensions received severe criticism when he compared people with disabilities to normal, non-disabled people. He may have not meant it as an insult, but his remarks upset, I mean, angered people. When by calling able-bodied people normal, Smith M M Implicitly stated that people with disabilities, however, are not normal and consequently that there was something wrong with them. Too often, such as, well, too often, such as not normal are, are used as a derogatory, 
are used in a derogatory fashion. So for a political figure, a member of parliament, nonetheless, to choose these words to distinguish persons with and without disabilities can definitely be considered inappropriate. In, in the Urban Dictionary, the top definition for the word normal, normal is nothing but a word made up by society to single out and attack those who are different. When used to describe people, it is a term that includes some people, which automatically excludes others. People with disabilities cannot help that they deviate from the norm, and how, however, and therefore, many of them believe there is no reason at all to use the words normal and abnormal to distinguish between people. As Mike Scarlett, who uses a wheelchair, explains in an article on BBC, on the BBC website, I meet so many disabled people who say they uh, just want to be normal. That's all they want. And, and actually, I think anyone who strives for that has missed the point of life, really. For me, it is better to see yourself as not normal and different because it is just more interesting. So... Are people with disabilities normal? Looking at it from a pure, a pure logistical standpoint, then no. Most likely they are not. But think about it for, for a while. Sure, you, you can say, oh, that person has only one leg. They are not normal. But what about people with two legs? Just put two people with two legs next to each other a blonde and a brunette, decide which one of them has a normal hair co color. Would you know? Probably not. The lesson being, the next time you want to use the word normal to describe a person, just remember it's all relative. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will post the, the articles that I used in the video description box with a brief video description. As always, I'm open to any future video topics you have. I'll let you know Please let me know what they are in the comment section below or on my Twitter page. And my Twitter handle is at Burley Mariah, and I can spell it for you, at B-U-R-M-A-R-I-H. And I'm sorry if I said that wrong. I'll just repeat it. At B-U-R-L-E-Y-M-A-R-I-H. My next video is going to be on batten disease. I hope that everyone's staying safe, and I want you to know that I'm praying for you, your families, and the world. I'll po post my notes in the comment section for anyone who needs them. Please like, share, and subscribe if you want to and found this video to be helpful. Um, feel free to share this video with anyone you think might need it. If you want to be notified for when I do any live streams or upload any new content, you're going to want to hit the bell icon and select the all option under the bell icon. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Bye!